Shalom. First off, I'd like to give an all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Secondly, I'd like to give a double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone who taught us this truth, and a Shalom to all Yaakim out there pushing this truth sincerely, all right? And I'm going to get right to it. The name of this lesson is, the things of this world are temporal. All right, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, all right? So the things that are seen are the things of this world, all right? What you see with your eyes, the car, you know, your woman, okay, your children, all right? That new car you want, all right? That new job you aspire to get, all right? Your college degree, those are things of this world, man. Those are things that you can see, all right? But it says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. And what are the things that are not seen, man? The things that are not seen are, first of all, this faith, man, this truth. This truth isn't seen, all right? All right, majority of our people see us out here, man, and they're looking at us like we crazy. All right, you talk to anyone in the street, man, or anyone that you know, and, you know, they don't see what we see, man. All right, and what we see is this truth. What we see is this so-called white man's kingdom fallen. All right, what we see is our people, all right, and the elect, the hopeful elect, becoming the governing body of the world, man. All right, that's the things, those are some of the things that are not seen right now, man. All right. And it goes on to say, but, but at the things which are not seen, for the things that are seen are temporal. And that's right, man. The things that are seen, the things that you see, this phone that I'm looking at, all right? The garments we got on, everything that we have on, it's temporary, man. It's temporary because we know what this kingdom is going to end, man. We know how this kingdom is going to end, all right? And we know that this kingdom has a short time, okay? That's why it's temporal, all right? So everything that is in this kingdom, all right, it's temporary because this kingdom's gonna fall, all right? So that means your car, your house, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a house, there's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to have a nice apartment, but making it your sole priority and making it, you know, your, basically your life, that's off, man. Because at the end of the day, this place is gonna go down and that house or that car or that woman is gonna go down with it, man. And it's as simple as that. All right, and it says, but the things which are not seen are eternal, all right? And the number one thing that is not seen and is eternal is our kingdom, man. The kingdom of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Our kingdom, all right? Our rulership, all right? Because when this, when this so-called white man goes down, man, we got next, you know? And it's as simple as that. And our kingdom is going to last forever, man. All right? And, it's, and, and I'm going to just read that one more time because it's, it's beautiful. Which are, um, but the things which are not seen are eternal, man. Eternal means forever. It means with no end. All right. This is uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth where moth and rust do corrupt. All right. And this is, this scripture goes exactly with the scripture I just read in 2 Corinthians, man. The things of this world, all right, all the treasures that you have, your money, all right, we're standing right in front of a bank. You might swipe your car, you got 10 G's, 15 G's, 20 G's in your bank account, man. When this place tanks, that bank account is going with it, man. As a matter of fact, when this economy tanks, all right, that bank account is going to go with it because the so-called white man's plan is to instate his RFID chip, man. And in order for him to do that, the economy needs to go down, man. You know, it's going to be a full reset. So that right there, your treasures, all right. Those are treasures laid not up for yourselves, treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt, all right? So these are things, the things of this world are corruptible, all right? They get damaged, all right? Like a car, all right? You could, you could have bought a 2014 car, brand new, drove it off the lot. You're, it's 2017, now your car is three years old, man. And there's a new car. Now your car is considered old. And it's that simple, man. And your car got problems already because you're putting miles on it. And it's the same thing. Everything in this world is like that. You could buy a house that's newly restored. But as time goes on, man, that house is going to start getting kinks. You know, the plumbing is going to go bad. The electrical, there's going to be problems with the structure. And that's just how things in this world are, man. The Lord designed it like that. All right? And even our bodies, man, our bodies are corruptible. Okay? As time goes on, we decay. Just like everything of this world. All right? It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth, doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal man a perfect example i had a really nice bike last summer man it was a 700 dollars bike all right 
it was a really expensive bike all right and one day i went to work i came back and the bike was missing man and the lock was there all right and it's that simple man so the things that we're looking for no one's going to be able to take that from us all right you know our, our spiritual power man no one's going to be able to take that from us our kingdom no one's going to be able to take that from us all right our, our everlasting righteousness you know those are things that no one's ever going to be able to take from us man those are things that thieves aren't going to be able to come and take from us all right and it's that simple all right and where thieves break through and steal but lay up verse 20 but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven all right lay yourselves treasures in heaven man and how do you do that all right your treasures in heaven first of all come through faith man all right pushing this word that's how your treasures um that's how you build up your treasures in heaven man feeding the flock all right doing what we're doing out here right now man all right and it's that simple all right those are the things that the lord is going to reward us for man in, in due time okay those are the things that we should be aiming for man because the truth of the matter is that the things of this world are not going to be forever man that's right but the faith all right and the truth of yahweh shim yahweh shai that's forever all right and it says um but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal man all right so the kingdom those are things that the thieves aren't going to be able to steal from us man all right like i said it before man our our you know our our, our mansions you know our our homes all right our our, our kid like you know just everything that the Lord has in store for us, man. Our minds can't even fathom. Those are things that no one's going to be able to take from us, man. But the truth of the matter is that we're still in captivity, man. And no matter how well you think you're doing, the so-called white man can always take that away from you. Okay? And that's the point of this lesson, man. And at the end, even if you are doing well, this place is going to be destroyed, man. And this is my last scripture to, you know, nail that point. This is 2 Second, Second Peter 3 and 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, all right? A thief does not announce himself when he comes into your house to take your shit, man. And that's how the Lord's going to come. He's going to come like a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, all right? And that noise, that noise is going to be that thermonuclear destruction, man. All right? That's going to be the noise, all right? So that's, that's what's awaiting this kingdom, all right? The Lord is just waiting for that appointed time, all right? To, to, to bring this man down, all right? But it's part of our job to wait, okay? It's part of our job to be patient, all right? And it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, all right? The elements are gonna melt, man, because everything, it all goes back to chemistry, man. Everything is made up of atoms and elements, man, all right? Like water, H2O, okay? Those are things that are made up of elements, man. And the scriptures say that it's gonna melt the elements, man. So how about your house? If it's gonna melt elements down, you know, elements are the building blocks of matter. All right, elements are the building blocks of matter. So how much more your house, your nice car, you know, your college degree. Yeah. You know that condo you live in. You know, these are things you gotta think about, man. All right, and it says, and the, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right? So at the end of it, man, everything that this so-called white man holds to be high and anything that you gain in this so-called white man society, at the end, it's just going to be burned up, man. All right? Because it, the Lord is going to give, you know, the Lord is going to give this place a full reset, man. It's just like on a computer. All right? When you give it a factory restore, that's what the Lord is going to do, man. And he's going to bring that factory restore through these thermonuclear missiles, man. And there's nothing that can survive that. Not your house, not your car, not your bodies, man. That's why we're out here doing this, man. Because our bodies can't even handle this, man. All right? Because we, we, we're we depending on the Lord to save us at the last minute, man. At the last second. Okay? So just remember, man, the things of this world are temporal. And with that, Shalom.